Hey guys, welcome back to Dennis' Scripting Tutorials. I'm going to do another quick tip here where I'll show you how to connect NPCs using the flag command instead of with steps like my previous video. So just like the last one, we have two NPCs. This side of the screen is NPC A, this side of the screen is NPC B, and the goal is for you to talk to NPC A and him tell you to go talk to NPC B. And to start off, we're just going to flag the player when they talk to NPC A. And you can name the flag whatever. In this case, we'll um, call it talk to NPC B. So all you do is flag player talk to NPC B. And that happens after NPC A tells the player to go talk to NPC B. On this side, instead of always saying hello, we're going to have an if command. So if player.flag talk to NPC B. So if they have the flag, then we're going to do this. Something here, and then if not, we'll have else. Oh, else. And close that. So we're going to move these guys up into here. Like so. So now we have it that if the player has the flag, which this tag will return true if they are flagged, and it will return false if they are not flagged. So if they have the flag, you can chat. Oh, NPC A must have sent you. Oops, must have sent you. And then if they don't have the flag, the else statement fires, which is the generic response. And then if you want to link back to NPC A or whatever, you can then flag again, talk to NPC A. You want to flag the player. Then if we come over here, we do the same thing where we create an if command. If player.flag talk to NPC A, open up the if command, we'll do something, and then we'll have an else command. Just like so. Oops. You have to make sure everything lines up nicely. That's the important part here. So we move this stuff up into here and line everything up nicely. Here we can chat. Oh, NPC B told me you were coming. Now, it can get kind of more complicated if you want to go back and forth as you're going to need to create new flags each time. And to, to save your saves file from building up a bunch of extra flags, you can get rid of the flag as you go along. So, say in this case, after you talk to the NPC B for the first time, you can flag the player with, whoops, flag player with talk to NPC B, which is the one that they had, they were told to come over here, and use the exclamation point value to get rid of it. And that will remove this flag. So now when they come back, they will not say the same chat again, it will go back to the else statement. At this point, you could assign a different flag, have an, an else if command here, which checks for another flag. It can get really complicated, with, um, but the reason this is potentially a better system than the steps is that if you have this NPC flag talk to NPC B, then no matter how NPC B is set up, you can always use the if command to check for it doesn't matter if you have steps in the script, how many steps, what's happening in each step, you can always use the if command. And that might be preferable for certain situations where you aren't using steps in the same way that I showed previously. Additionally, what's another handy method here is if you replace flag player with flag server, this then makes it global. So you check for server flags instead of player flags. So after one person talks to the NPC, then every, everyone, for all intents and purposes, will then get the second response. 
and it you know that might be a more obscure case you might be able to find a better way to use that but you can do global changes instead of specifically player based changes using a server flag and that's something you can't really do with steps because steps are stored locally for each player hope that kind of clears it up and if you have any questions about how to do this you know ask in the comments um, and I'm going to try to keep making videos. I've been having some more free time. Hopefully all goes well. Thanks again for watching. Definitely subscribe. Definitely hit the like button. Do all those things that you do on YouTube videos. Thanks again, guys.